two what it do it's your boy back um i was thinking about if i was going to touch this topic for the simple fact that i think i said what i said my shit went kind of viral on um, tiktok nothing too you know what i'm saying nothing too special nothing like that viral for me though um i don't I don't have no ill will towards Aaron Rodgers. I'm not trying to like bash his character or nothing like that. Um, first of all, these guys get paid a whole lot of money, so it is it comes with the territory. But we the, the athletes are the only profession where we know how much you get paid. We can Google how much you get paid. Um, we know damn near the business, like how y'all contracts kind of work. Uh, we see y'all interact on the field not in the facility but or in the training room whatever but like on the field that's where we like the fans we see you guys interact with coaches and and etc etc and we've seen this over the years we've seen you and heard you in press conferences so we're not saying that we know each player or players to their full extent of them being who they are as human beings but we kind of got a of you know, adjust like a, a kind of a um, some type of nuance of who you are, and you know, say so have you dealt with previous coaches, previous teams? You know, what I'm saying what you said. You know, what I'm saying this, that, and the third. And sometimes it gets overlooked by you know, what I'm saying your accolades, and you know, what I'm saying you being a dog, you being a baller. You know, what I'm saying as fans and people that just look at certain shit, it's it's gonna be looked at a different way compared to the athletes that's on your team that want to win that's like we don't give a fuck about none of that we just trying to woo de woo woo that's the that's the difference so he got on Aaron Rodgers was on Pat McAfee shit and um he said some things like to me personally I feel like they trying to spin it now because watching the game it came on at nine o'clock in the morning bro on Sunday so motherfuckers extra people was probably watching this game before church and shit so, like, I'd never seen them pan to the Jets owner. Never the, the story of him, like, having friends in London. All None of that shit was on the, the telecast, bro. They was talking about Aaron Rodgers, Robert Sala, you know what I'm saying? Them trying to get a win. They need a win. It's clutch. We do all the, the normal football shit, bro. Never, they, they never said anything in the, you know what I'm saying, about, oh, um, the owner of the Jets, you know what I'm saying? He has... People in the stands, you know, say bought, bought, you know, saying friends and family tickets. You probably hear that about a player and they in their hometown. Like, oh, yeah, they, you know, saying his family came out to see him. He got probably like 20, 25 people he told us in the crowd. We've heard that before, but we didn't. So, them trying to spend it with the owner, so to, to me, I'm not buying this shit, bro. And I'm going to show you, you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm not just the only one that feel this way about this situation. I'm not even going to say feel this way about Aaron Rodgers. We just feel this way about Aaron Rodgers in this particular situation. So let's hear what he had to say for sure. I would love to offer you the floor to kind of explain how yesterday went down, your thoughts on it all, and how you think we got to this point that we're at with the New York Jets organization in 2024. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yesterday was uh, a day that reminds you of the simple fact that all of us who played know all too well, and that's that it's a tough business. It's a beautiful profession. It's incredible. It's done so much for our lives, but it's also uh, a really tough business. Um, I love Coach Sala. Uh, We have a a very solid relationship. We have since, uh, you know, I met him in 2021. Uh, and had a nice conversation when they came and, and visited us for uh, joint practices. Uh, he was a big reason why I came to the Jets. You know, I felt like uh, the team, you know, was a solid team. Uh, had a relationship with Coach Hackett, obviously. And I really liked Coach Sala. Everything that Matt LaFleur said about him, the few interactions I've had, the times that we went against him, um, I just had a lot of respect for him. Okay, so you saying you had a lot of respect for Robert Sala. And from a fan perspective, like, we don't know. Like, I just personally, I kind of feel like, I ain't even gonna say it, keep saying the fan. Personally, I feel like you should have been at OTAs, you should have been at training camp. I'm not even a Jets fan, but just from y'all situation, you getting hurt last year, four years, I mean, say four years, four plays into the season. 
you should have made it your job to make sure you basically did this is your first season as a jet we don't care about if you was in the building you got to know everybody yeah but you didn't play though so you didn't get that rhythm with this team on you know what i'm saying in an actual game until this season so you should have made it your business to treat this year like this was your actual first year and been at otas been at mandatory mini camps been at you know what i'm saying as, as if i was a jazz fan i would have wanted that from aaron Rodgers, bro so robert Sala, that's that was the first strike if you've been paying attention to the offseason and the jets was one of the biggest talks biggest nfl teams off seasons that, that, that everybody was talking about everybody was talking about the jets aaron Rodgers comeback that was the hottest team during the off season and the Saquon Barkley shit. So you would have thought that okay, Aaron Rodgers is gonna make sure he come back. Whoop de whoop de whoop all this shit. Bruh, you was in Egypt somewhere on that Iwaza Waza shit, nigga, in a fucking cave doing some big weird ass shit. Nigga. Like like that was your first strike. He called you out on that shit, trying to hold everybody accountable. Everybody's the same, even though everybody is not the same on the team. We know that. But in training camp, mini camp, mandatory shit, everybody's the same, nigga. Everybody. Because we, he, you got to set a standard early. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, you saying that, that was your first, like, I, right. Like, how we see it, the media seeing it, how everybody broke it down. Like, oh, damn, like, Aaron Rodgers is doing this shit again. Like, it's like, that's your MO since the McCarthy shit. Actually, to me, I don't even count the McCarthy shit. I count the Devontae Adams shit because I felt like you could have you could have took less money to keep him because in the interview with um, Shannon Sharp, Devontae tried to go to them before your deal. He went to them two years early before his deal was up, his contract, and tried to get them to pay them before you. So when you came around, you could have got your money and he would have had his. You feel what I'm saying? Even if so, they can't, they, they pay. Of course, they're gonna pay the quarterback first. But you could have took less money for it. Y'all still should have been rocking and rolling in Green Bay. My opinion. You should even be a Jet to be my 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 opinion, bro. It's just a reminder yesterday how tough the business is. I think what what people uh, can forget in this is not only is is Robert a fantastic human being and a damn good football coach. He's also a family man. He's got seven kids. He's got an incredible wife. And uh, the business of football can be hard, not just on those of us who are playing and coaching uh, and doing personnel things uh, and ownership, obviously, but it's tough on the families. And uh, I've got to know Robert's family uh, over the last couple of years, and especially one of his kids, Adam. Adam's my little throwing buddy from training camp. Uh, love Adam. He's an incredible, incredible kid. And, you know, so I'm, I'm thinking there's obviously a lot of emotions, uh, but you think about the, the family and the kids as much as, you know, uh, the people you love, your own family, who is the coaching staff and the players and what, uh, what they're all going through. So, you know, anybody who's kind of championing this decision, I would just uh, appeal to the humanity of the situation and, and, and remind you there's other people involved. And... Adam has to go to school today, you know, possibly or this week. And uh, hopefully there's no, you know, uh, kids with poor parents who are making snide side comments to him. Um, it's just a reminder. There's a lot of there's a lot of things involved in this. As far as any of the ridiculous allegations out there, I'm not going to spend more than uh, one sentence uh, in response to it. See, dog, you like. It's not making me like you as a player no more, bro. I don't like, like I ain't never really like you. You giving me like Brett Favre two point bro. Real shit, and I don't fuck with Brett Favre because he was stealing from the Wayfield niggas in Mississippi, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like after the 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 the, the, the talent and the accolades, bro. Like. You, like a lot, I've heard a lot of players, you know what I'm saying, like just pe players that didn't play before, they, you know what I'm saying, retired players and they, they analysts now and they talk about your leadership and this, that, and the third. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I just, I just feel like you, you didn't, 
I don't feel like you put your best foot forward to make you and Rob Asala work, bruh. I feel like you, you 40, nigga. You a vet. You got a ring. You damn near like more accomplished than everybody on this fucking team. You feel me? Like the offense was some sh- the offense been some shit. The defense been above average. You feel what I'm saying? Like to get fired at week five and y- and y'all could possibly be first place in y'all division is crazy work. And it's nothing that nobody can say that 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 owner didn't run this shit by you, bruh. And then for you to kind of like basically make it seem like what everybody is seeing on national television is just a lie. Like that's the crazy part to me. Like we seen you like the Jets haven't had too many good moments, bruh. Especially Robert Sala because I don't know if he was the one that chose. Um, what the fuck is the nigga name? That's how you know when you some shit. I can't even remember your name. Um... Damn, Zach Wilson. You, you like he? I don't know if he drafted or chose Zach Wilson. You feel what I'm saying? So he had bad quarterback after bad quarterback after bad quarterback. That's where the losses come from. Niggas go straight to the record, bro. How the fuck you supposed to win? And you and you got one of the worst draft picks in, in NFL history, bro. Come on, bro. That's 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 crazy work. That's not nah. We not nah. We not doing that. Like you can't just blame that that them them fifty six losses, you know what I'm saying? Cause the Jets organization's been bad, bro. It's been bad. I just do I feel like Robert Sala is a is a great head coach? No, is he a good head coach? Yes. Can he? Do I feel like he could have coached this team to a, to the playoffs? Yes. But I think you made it more you made it more harder. That's crazy. Pause. Crazy pause. You made it more harder than it was supposed to be. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the going back and forth in the press conferences and all that. Like, we can pull this shit up, bro. Like, you can see it. Was he wrong for saying some shit about your cadence? Yeah, but you got to understand, he said that shit. And people don't know how, like, people be acting like they never been around two petty motherfuckers. You you do some shit. You've been actually been doing the petty shit since the beginning of this year training camp with the with when he then he called you out. You y'all have a good a good Monday night game or third whatever it was against the Patriots. He tried to bro bro that shit like all right this shit over with nigga we winning now fuck that shit we bro bro this shit you pushed the nigga off and fucking on national television. Y'all don't say shit. Y'all lose the next week to Denver. You lose the next week to Denver. Y'all jump off sides, whatever the case may be. He say some shit about your cadence. All that shit is back and forth pettiness, bruh. Back and forth pettiness, bruh. And then he gets fired after the next loss. After you play bad. After you throw a back shoulder fade that everybody knew you was going to throw. Dog, you been in the league for almost, what, 16, 17 years? You think people don't know your tendencies now? Like yes, you still you still have an arm. You can still throw the ball. You can put the ball in places not all quarterbacks can. That is true. But people have played you multiple times to know that okay, nine times out of ten, game on the line, which you're gonna go throw at their best corner, a back shoulder fade, which he's probably even seen on film, instead of going to the opposite corner, which is probably their weak corner, which was probably I think you tried to throw it to Mike Williams when you should have probably been throwing it to Wilson. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like me personally, bro. I felt like Robert Sala was the scapegoat. Um, this this own the owner got friends in London, so he got mad because y'all got lost in London. If anything, he should have been mad and fired Robert Sala after the loss to Denver. If that was the case. So that I'm not buying that shit at all. You're not fooling me with that shit. Like, at the end of the day, bro. I don't even feel like you should even did this fucking podcast, this fucking show. Like y'all losing, you playing bad, nigga. You do three. I ain't. I can't remember the last game when you threw three picks. The defense ain't got nothing to do with that. That's just that's just me though. Like I don't know if everybody agree, and we gonna go to the comments, bro. I'm gonna tell you, but this is this is how people view 
Aaron Rodgers, just from him dealing with Mike McCarthy, him dealing with the shit after Mike McCarthy with uh, Lafleur to going to here, like it's just we like it's just it's there, bro. And you not making it no better, Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna just keep it a bean with you, Holmes. You just not Aaron Rodgers turned into a into the wish version of the Tom Brady. He now sucks. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. View more comments, bro. Field is no place for politics or statements. He was already on the bubble, then pulls a stunt for the cameras, unprofessional and distractive. Go back to your case. That's what I'm saying. I think this is crazy. Nobody believes that dude. It's Aaron Rodgers like the star of the Pac Ma- Pat McAfee show. Rodgers is a diva. Don't trip on, on your way out. Salah tried to hug Rodgers. He didn't like that. That's why he got fired. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Like, at the end of the day, bro. We all watching it. We all seeing it. And um we just like come on, bro. Week 5 and y'all got a chance to be first in the division. His defense which is which is his 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 forte is playing well. You're playing bad. Like I would have respected it more if you would have been like, "Look, I'm playing bad." You know what I'm saying? I, I could possibly be the reason why, you know what I'm saying, he did get fired because of my play. And that's my fault. I got to make it. I got to play better so that way, you know what I'm saying, the next person that's at the helm, we don't, you know what I'm saying, uh, he's not affected by my play. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Like, when you really like your coach, bro, you want to make sure you play good so he don't get fired, bro. Point, that point blank period, bro. That's what it is. If you really like the joy head coach, I wanna, I have to play good so that they don't get rid of him because we want him as a head coach. That's just, that's just what it is, bro. That's just what it is, man. Like that shit, like you whack for that shit, Aaron Rodgers. I ain't gonna hold you. The, 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 uh, the owner, he whack his shit for that shit too, bro. Like, you all letting your feelings because you lost in front of your friends in London. Like, it ain't a playoff game. It ain't none of that shit, bruh. Weak ass, man. Weak as shit. 